Hi, this is Gil Green PM. This is going to be the wiring part of the, the solar panel system. This is the one wire coming from this. And this is, I was originally going to hook up my trailer directly into the controller, but I, I don't need to monitor actually what I'm putting out in watts and such, so I'm just going to leave it as just this is going to be on the load side of the controller and then run my trailer straight from the batteries. So, this right here should lift up, there we go, and then I just need a little flathead screwdriver, just one second here, okay I'll be back in one second and I'm going to find a screwdriver, okay, now on this, the white would be hot. Let's see if I can set this up so you can see. Okay, so white wire will go into the positive. I'm just folding the wires over to make them a little bit wider. Not really impressed on the way they hook those up. It's actually just a screw going through. You can see this. It's just a screw that you screw in and it pushes against a plate. I would think it should be, you know, a flat plate, but it's not. It's just a screw. So I'm gonna make sure I get it in the exact right spot where it won't clamp it. Now with a big fat wire it wouldn't matter so much, but with these tiny little wires, hopefully I can get a good connection. And this one I can push back in now. That probably didn't need to do such big holes, but if I ever need to upgrade panels in the future or anything like that, I'd rather uh, have it done now. So now I need to run the wires from my battery up to the charge controller. So I'm going to go get those wires and uh, continue on from there. Okay, so I'm running I think it's a six gauge wire. It's a uh, Actually from an old winch. So can get that set up there. Now I've got a good pair of wire strippers here somewhere. Right there. Just get them through. I had to fish them all through this too, which wasn't the easiest actually. So this would be the battery side. Put that up here. And here's the battery side. And the positive side, I should say. I figured these should be fun to get in here. No big deal. Pull these through a little bit 
farther now so I can strip them. Now these wire strippers are probably 15 years old and they are the best wire strippers I've ever owned. No idea even where I got them. You can tell it's pretty peaceful down here. I'm the only one down here today. So now, positive, positive. I have no problem clamping these bigger wires because they are much thicker. Okay, there's one. One. Negative. And they're clearly marked right on here. What's negative and what's positive. For anybody that doesn't know how to or know the difference. But red is always your hot and black is ground. Not on a trailer though. Okay, so we'll pull these wires back through now. Make them look nice and neat. Just the red one. There we go. So now I need to run these over to my batteries. And I'll uh, come back here in a second and show you. Okay, I didn't. Uh, record all of that but it uh, I've now got the wires ran all the way through there they go down they go along here and then they go through just just about right here they go down out front and then they come out it's hard to see right there go in the back of my box and now I just need to grab a wrench to trailer is all taken apart right now uh, that'll work I'm just gonna hook up the positive and negative to the battery okay now both wires are all hooked up now I'm not sure if I'd get power in here. I think I would now. Yes. So now, it's telling me I have 12.1 volts. So my batteries are pretty much dead. Oh, there's my load. That turns that component on. You see all the blue light turn on. You can turn it back off. Uh, I'd have to read the manual. I've not used this yet. But, current one amp. I don't know what that means yet. 12.1 volts. So I've got to now run my solar panel wires. That's my next thing. All right, I'll be back. Okay, so now I ran the big line. I only get 15 feet, so I'm gonna have to have a joiner out there. But then I've got heavy-duty cable coming in, and now I'm gonna fish it through this hole. Which is always an interesting thing to do. But I taped taped this junk piece of wire on the end so I can put it through first and see if I can pull these lines through. And it should make this a little easier, maybe. Maybe. That's not the key thing here. one to get through here and I figured it wouldn't be I should have actually pushed this wire through first from the top and then pulled it back but of 
Of course, I didn't think of that first. I can't even see the wire in there. Okay, well, I'll come back here in a second once I uh, get this wire fished through here. So now I ran the cables from there and then joined into this and now it goes inside and now I'm gonna go hook it up for the first time and see if I'm getting any power from my solar panel alright I just left the, the one power unhooked so just give me one second and I will hook that up and then we should have charge stiff wire to get in there so make sure I'm getting a good connection back it off maybe a bit more to get it in there tighter Okay, now you can see that it's showing the sun and charging my batteries. And I'm not sure what this little symbol is here. Right, this really won't focus. But under charge, it's holding about 12.2 already. So we'll see how, uh, how well this works for me. And I will do an update video in uh, a couple of weeks once I know how well it's going to charge for me. But uh, thank you for watching my videos. And please subscribe and comment. Thank you. Have a great day. Oh, wait. I'll show you the outside first before I quit this video. I'll show you the quick overview. There's the panel. A little bit of space at the top so that air can go in behind my clamps. And I'm not directly at the sun right now, but I'm going to be here in a second. But there's my one panel. And uh, that should be everything. Thank you very much.